What's up, viewers? Uh, we're going to be talking about Tales of the Empire. You know, like, you know the show like just came out. Yeah, I like this more than Tales of the Jedi. Really? I think this is probably an unpopular opinion. I don't know why. It was just more enjoyable. Like, Tales of the Jedi, you know, obviously how the episodes about Dooku, which is an interesting topic. I do want to learn about Dooku, but I didn't actually enjoy those episodes as much. They just didn't feel as engaging. And the Ahsoka episodes, which, yeah, I like seeing Ahsoka, but we already have a lot of Ahsoka. Like, the first episode didn't even have Ahsoka in it, except for as a little, uh, as a little bubba. I did like the second one, but, like, again, it didn't really show us anything new we saw her training in clone wars and a bit of order 66 which we've seen bits and pieces of all that before it was still cool but but the third episode was probably the only one that was actually constructive and added a lot new whereas this these six episodes from tales of the empire i feel like all of it was pretty new and i liked it all like i liked seeing barris that was something which for the longest time has just gone unanswered and now it's answered and i like that and even Morgan Ellsworth, even though I didn't really care that much about her at all, it's still something we haven't seen before, and it's cool to have this bit of backstory for Ahsoka. Well, I haven't seen any reviews of Tales of the Empire yet, so this is my actual thoughts. Yeah, but like a Tales of the Jedi, I was of the opinion that I preferred the Ahsoka episodes, but I did appreciate the Dooku episodes. Like, all three Dooku episodes were really good. The first Ahsoka one was kind of like, uh, the next two, well, I actually really like those episodes. That first Ahsoka episode, in my opinion, breaks canon. I uh, turned her into a bit of a Mary Sue a bit, because, like, she gets taken by that animal. And we didn't need to know that, and I don't think it adds anything. Shouldn't you need training to do that? Like, she's never, like, shown, like, I don't know, anyway. But I think it's a whole thing that, like, you know, kids and younglings and whatnot, like, do little, little magic tricks without realizing probably like the fact that they're a little infant brain makes it you know easier to do something it's not training. harry potter joel but for tales of the empire only the last morgan elsbeth episode was good and also it was so weird when i got to the third morgan elsbeth episode and i was like huh they're past Empire. Funnily enough, I felt like it was the weakest. Actually, no, I would say the first one was the weakest. Yeah, that one was just Clone Wars with a bit of extra information. Like, and there were the really other people living on Dathomir. Well, there was the, um, the tribe where Savage Press came from. That was on Dathomir. And if Legends is to be taken in consideration, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of different tribes of Night Sisters and whatnot. So that's kind of consistent with what we saw here. What, what I was confused about, though, was why the droids came, killed all the Night Sisters, buggered off, and then they just, like, came back a day later to just kill a few more, and then that was it, like, haha, lol, just came back, because need to get my killing quota in for the day. That didn't make any sense to me at all. My rate, my ranking of the Morgan Ellsworth episodes, I'd say the first one was my least favourite, the second one was my favourite, which is probably just because... Thrawn and Paleon and it did everything that I like in Star Wars which is just you know addressing the EU content and then the third episode probably in the middle you know it's cool seeing the New Republic and whatnot show up but also I just didn't really care I was just had no interest in like that community and whatnot that little settlement and Morgan Elizabeth as a character especially by that point she just became very wooden I think it's like they were mm. going for stoic, but it just came across as unengaging and uninteresting. That was kind of why I didn't like the third episode as much. But yeah, the three Barris episodes were way better than... So funnily, funnily enough, I think the third Barris episode was probably the weakest. It was kind of also one of those sort of episodes where you watch and you know how it's going to end. I was so conflicted while watching the Barris episodes because the entire time like, I kept reminding myself of like, oh, before I started watching this, I hated Barris and all this shit she'd done. I hate this character. But then they kind of gave her a bit of a redemption arc even before they did her redemption arc and just made her a much more likable character. Yeah, but they kind of did the same thing as Tales of the Jedi where they're supposed to start off as similar characters, I think. But then they went in different directions, like Dooku fell, and but then Ahsoka went to the light. Another thing that, you know, tells the Empire, the fight scenes were so good. 
It was so well animated, I felt like. I think we've peaked. Like, since Clone Wars Season 7, I don't think it's going to get any better because it's just that good now. Fight scenes and whatnot, I think. Like, at the beginning of Clone Wars, they were always very clunky. Now they're just, I'd say, a lot of the action sequences in the animated series are just being better than the live-action ones. So in some ways, I pref still prefer those early Clone Wars fights over the prequels just because the jedi were so much cooler as in like they'd sort of like jump really high but it was okay because it was animation animation gets a lot of flack but like really you can do a, a lot more in animation than you can in live action i i'm really happy to see like tales of the empire especially after right after bad batch ended having another little mm. animated series right after i think it's nice it's reassuring that they're not just going to ditch animation because i genuinely think it's just better that could also to be honest come down to more just the fact that there hasn't been as many animated series as like we've had since the disney plus started we've had a season of clone wars three seasons of bad batch and two seasons yeah. of like shorts compared to three seasons of mandalorian a season of boba fett a season of kenobi a season of andor and a season of ahsoka like, I feel like I always whinge about, like, oh my god, there's not enough Star Wars coming out. I'm so deprived of content. But then, like, it's okay to not have that many things. We've got over ten seasons. I mean, any more thoughts, actually, about Tales of the Empire? You know, what this video is actually about? If I had to rate Tales of the Empire, I'd say it was, like, a solid 7 out of 10 Able Adels. Maybe 8, because I did actually really enjoy it. I'd say 8 out of 10 abladels how many abladels would you give this patrick i'm gonna say seven abladels anyway that's the end of the video it was just yeah um tales of the empire was cool and all did yeah good goodbye